My own reserve congratulation is going to Root Boy and his wife who just recently welcomed a baby in the United States of America. Well, it's a boy again, Adam Slink, and uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. And uh, if you are new to this channel, please try as much as possible to invite your friends, subscribe, and uh, enjoy the program, and uh, welcome to the family. And if you are old, of course, you already know the deal, the normal thing we do here. Welcome back again. I hope your yesterday was nice. Well, big up to P Square, rude boy who just welcome a baby. You know, rude boy no even send the first wife. He no even wait at all. He no even slow down. He no even uh, check body at all. After that woman decided to humiliate him, I don't know if he if he, if she actually humiliated him. After she decided to humiliate the rude boy, even uh, Peter Okoye used that matter in insult rude boy when they were having beef and uh, when he was trying to, uh, when the Jews was trying to explain what happened, that uh, Peter Okoye told rude boy, where's your family? Me that still got my family together. Where's your family? You that cannot keep your family. Well, if a woman doesn't want to be kept, let the woman go now. And if a man doesn't want to be kept, let the man go. That is just how it is. But big up, man. I don't know what the, the media is conflicting currently. They're saying a baby girl or a baby boy. But we do not care over here. Eh? We just welcome another soul to the world. And um, that is a plus one to the world. And uh, I wish them all the best. It's not easy. I wish them all the best. And again, I would like to see Peace Square back together. That is a long shot, though. It's something that we know we might not get ever again. And honestly speaking, honestly speaking, let me just dive in a little bit, like 30 minutes discussing that uh, Peace Square matter small. I know you guys are tired about it. Me, self, I'm tired. I, 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 I am absolutely tired about a Peace Square issue. But let me just dive in a little bit. Let me just tell you absolutely my honest mind about it. I do not give a damn about P Square if they come back or not. In fact, I don't I no want me to ever come back. Let me be honest with you guys. I don't even want it to ever come back because when they talk, you can see the fakeness. The fakeness in all of them. No matter how it be, no matter the settlement, they will still quarrel. No matter what they say, they are still going to quarrel. They are still going to fight. They are still going to talk. So for me, honestly, I know why me they come back and talk just to keep the peace. There can be, there can be, there can be brothers though. Let there be brothers. Like what uh, Root Boy said. Even if we do not make music together, can't we be brothers? Can't we be brothers? Peace square must not be. But our brotherhood should stay forever. Which I want them to, uh, to, to see one of the brother featuring the other brother in, the, in his project, good and fine. To see the other one featuring the, his own brother in the project, good and fine. We want to see that. Peace Square must not stay. Peace Square must not, honestly. Peace Square must not stay. Peace Square must not stay. Peace Square must not stay. Hmm? P Square must not stay. May they forget P Square. Let them start looking forward. And I'm happy Root Boy immediately started his uh, family. No time to say time, no day. And I want to ask, is, is it uh, ideal? You know, most Christians, I know most Christians do not, do not practice this. And we Muslims as well uh, do not practice it at all. Is it ideal to marry a woman while that woman is pregnant, to pay for that woman's bride price, to do anything like introduction, to pay for bride price while the woman is pregnant? Or you have to wait until that woman gives birth, then before proceeding to introduce yourself, before proceeding to pay bride price or buy any form of drink? Which one do you usually practice? Because we know, root boy, 
immediately went to the girl's family to do all the necessary stuff and they bought drinks and uh, of course they are married. So it's no longer rude boy's girlfriend. She's rude boy wife. You understand? Rude boy's wife. Well, big up to them though. Let's dive into Selena Gomez. But, be, but before, before that video, uh, I forgot to even share this video with you guys. This is the video I wanted to start with, honestly. Now, this video will be one start this, uh, this uh, talk with. It's about a guy who don't believe in washing your mouth. I don't do that brush and teeth shit. I don't believe in that brush and teeth shit. You don't believe in the brush and teeth shit? How far is that? What'd you hear? Because I heard the brush and teeth too much. It turned white. I'm a black man. Come on, bro. I like brushing my teeth. What do you gain from brushing your teeth? What do you gain from brushing your teeth? It took you that long to answer? My point exactly. <laughs> So what actually happened was uh, there, was, there was a group of people who were uh, protesting in a way and uh, kind of like uh, advocating for people to stop brushing their teeth. That there was no need. And they would see the guy say, don't brow finish. Don't brow finish, but then they are advocating. <laughs> for U.S., there's nothing you will not see in this white people's land. Ah, their life is so simple for them, eh? Simple to the point that the only protest on their mind is to come out to advocate against brushing your teeth. <laughs> oh, I wish I had that kind of time. I wish I had that kind of time. Eh? I don't chop belly food. Nothing else for me to think about. And the only thing I just have to think about is for me to just go outside to advocate against brushing of teeth. <laughs> ah, God is great. Oh, ah, oh, God should have given us uh, America. <laughs> God should have given us America and then give them Nigeria so that they will have a lot of things to occupy their mind with. By the time you think about foil and not going out, <laughs> nobody will tell you to chill and advocate against foil hike. Eh? <laughs> well, guys, uh, let's move past that. Let's talk about Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez is currently one of the latest billionaires in town. And the way women, because we have more of women billionaires in the in entertainment industry than men. Yeah. I think we have more of women billionaires in the entertainment industry now. At the rate too, as we they are boom, boom, becoming billionaires. Uh, Rihanna is a billionaire. Kylie Jenner is a billionaire. Kim Kardashian is a billionaire. Uh, this girl, Taylor Swift, a billionaire. Beyonce will soon become a billionaire. Then uh, Selena Gomez, a billionaire. The rate at which women are taking over. Women are even way more, uh, more pay than, than the male uh, 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 currently. Who can beat uh, uh, Taylor Swift income? Who? This or Beyonce? Who? That's why when I see people like Thames, Arista in Ninja, and some other female, eh? I just, I don't shake my head and be like, this male, eh? this man, eh? they will be so surprised. In the next coming years, eh? oh God, what these women will do. You know, women really, really have the opportunity to overcome, to overthrow this uh, man. Well, uh, and again, if you check out how Senna Gomez even make made that money because the, it was split into categories. You see here, you see the chart there. When it comes to our business, our beauty, our beauty, just to tell you how, how, how this, uh, how these artists make money when it comes to music. I'm not saying this Music is accurate too. You know, Selena Gomez do not really, really sing a lot. You see, music and tour, she made 85 million. 
and you see the brand deals from Coca-Cola, uh, Louis Vuitton, and uh, I don't know who, who, who owns this logo. She made about uh, 90 million US dollars. And startup, she made about uh, 34. And acting, she made about 26. And a rare beauty, uh, uh, a beauty uh, business, she made about 1.1 billion. This music might not be accurate because we know these guys are making so much money when it comes to their music. So music might not be accurate. But this rare beauty also, all those things might not be accurate. It's way more. It is way more than this money that they are showing. Way more. So the, the estimate is what they are looking, looking at. It's not as if Selena Gomez submitted any form of document to show that this and this. No. Just the estimate is what they are looking at. Possibility is what they are looking at. But I believe Selena Gomez is way more. Way, 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 way more. For example, somebody will say Bona Boy is worth 5 million US dollars. Meanwhile, Bona Boy garage alone is worth more than that money. So tell me, how does that really make sense? According to Forbes, Bona Boy is worth 5 million US dollars. But Bona Boy garage alone is worth more than that. Then he has houses. He has so many other projects. He is still touring almost every day. He was even paid one point something million. He, he sold out an entire uh, stadium twice, like up to three times now. And that money is huge. We are not talking about right now. Stadium. That money is huge. No calculating. But according to Forbes, Bonaboy is worth five million US dollars. It's never accurate. Never. Is way, 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 way beyond that. But then again, when you come out to boost and make this kind of money, one day, one day might be used against you because when your government decides to start tasking your income from 2020 something to now, you are going to, if you start speaking figures of how much you are making, you don't go by yourself with that. That's why most of them do not talk, they just keep quiet. Well, catch you next time, guys.